I'm Harris Sagovan. Welcome to Mitsubishi Electric Sales How It Works series of videos. In this video, we provide helpful tips and aids to technicians like yourself when working on Mitsubishi Electric equipment. Hi, and I'm Michael D'Souza. And later in this video, I'll be demonstrating the practical reasons why we use the service tool. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to use the PAC SK52 ST service tool to get system status and error codes. The service tool is designed for the P-Series outdoor units and M-Series branch box units. Let's get the status of the equipment. Right now you see with all the switches off on the service tool, we're seeing a status of 00. zero. That indicates the unit is off. Now when we turn it on, you see H2. The H indicates it's in heat mode and the two indicates that the four-way valve is on. When the unit starts running, you'll see H6. H6 would indicate it's in heat mode. The six indicates the compressor is running and the four-way valve is on. Okay, now we are showing you an error code reported by the outdoor unit, E6 error code. This is a communication error. The zero one indicates the indoor unit is reporting the error. Now that you've seen the use of the pack SK52 ST service tool, you realize how simple it is to use to get system status and error codes and additional information. It is simple to plug in with the power on to get the information you need. For this service call, we have a P-Series outdoor unit inside a warehouse with the indoor unit located in a server room. The indoor unit's accessibility is limited, but I was able to identify P1 error via the service tool. Upon referencing the flash code to the service manual, the error code indicates an intake sensor error of room temperature TH1 thermistor. The causes for P1 error are, one, a defective thermistor, two, contact failure of connector CN20 on the indoor controller board, three, break-in wire or thermistor contact, and four, defective indoor controller board. Typically, we would have to disassemble the indoor unit to begin our troubleshooting process. And as you can see, our space is rather limited. Luckily, I brought the service tool with me, or as I like to call it, the time saver. It saved me time on the job, it reduced the amount of tools needed to service the equipment, and also provided me with accurate information to properly diagnose the Mitsubishi electric equipment. For example, to capture TH1 data, all you have to do is adjust dip switches number four and five to the on position, and that's it. Thanks for watching How It Works. For more training content, visit www.mescaacademy.ca. And for more technical information, visit www.mitsubishitechinfo.ca.